Um, Petrus Triple, 8%. Got Stewie up visiting. And um, we've been surfing the day, or I have. Stewie hasn't been. And we're going to have a beer. Already had a couple. Petrus Triple, clear, gold colour. There was a rocky white head. Oh, man, Petrus made one of my favourite beers, or one of my top 100. The Petrus Aged Pale. Man, so floral on the nose, like, like really perfumey. Heaps of um, Belgian, like, there's a little bit of banana. There's uh, heaps of Belgian yeast characters, very yeast driven. And a little bit of noble hop character in there as well. Uh, you got some spiciness and plenty of fruit. <sighs> Bready as well. It smells fantastic. Yum! Lovely bready malt up front. Um, there's a tiny little hint of age on it. A little bit of oxidation in the malt. Still got lovely sort of um, fruity esters happening in there. It's just, I always get this perfumey character out of good Belgian yeast. Got some slight spiciness in there. I never know what to call it. It's perfumey. It just sounds... <clears throat> Inadequate. Uh, it's very highly carbonated, sweet malts on the front, medium light body, lovely dry finish, medium, probably medium firm bitterness. Man, is, does anywhere in Belgium make a bad triple? Got this from International Beer Collector. Guy's a legend. It's in Australia, of course. Um, Petrus, triple, what a 